Hello Virgos, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of June 22nd through the 30th. This reading is for all of the Virgos out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy Father's Day if you are a father. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like I'm the reader for you, and you want to show some support, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell, the thumbs up image to help the video circulate. If you need a private reading, the link is in the description box. However, I have one more slot for a free reading for the month of June. If you would like to be considered for a free reading, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment in the comment section. Okay? I am going to be using a Celtic cross spread for your reading. So let's get started. What is the energy for my Virgo's current energy, the Page of Wands, okay? So why is this Page of Wands here from the sign of Virgo? Why is that Page of Wands here? Okay, so we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. Okay, pay this energy. Pay this energy for my Virgo's. This is this. Okay. Seven of Cups. Okay. The Nine of Wands. Your overall energy right now. Ace of Swords. What do you have for the immediate future? The Wheel of Fortune. Your Fears. The Moon Card. Cancer Pisces energy. Sagittarius. And Pisces energy. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Pisces. We have Pisces here twice. Could be dealing with someone with the initials of T, O, R, or A. The Four of Wands. What are you hoping for? What is the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus hoping for? Okay, it looks like that's it. The lovers, Gemini energy, and we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy for your outcome. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, the Page of Cups. So I am seeing. Okay. You could be getting a message. Someone is, it could be a, a, a kid or a child. Someone is sending in a message. Could be ca calling you, texting you, emailing you, telling you that they love you. Maybe someone is coming to visit you. Someone is tired of being in their head about a situation. I feel like someone is walking walking away from people that um that are not good for them. This could be you. Could be someone in your heart space. Someone is walking away from people, places, and things. Or someone is tired of being in their head about people, places, and things that don't serve them. And walking away from their energy. In the past, you were... I feel like someone had um, a decision or a choice to make. That left them wounded. Someone had a decision or a choice to make in the past. 
that left them wounded because they had to, someone had to put an end to, and that's what this energy is up here. Someone had to put up an end to people and things that made them feel like not so good about themselves. Left them feeling wounded. Like I'm putting in all this work and I'm not getting anything in return, but asses the kids to be frank. So right now, I'm seeing you overcoming these obstacles and I see a new beginning coming in because you're in a new energy. I feel like you have elevated. You have consciously, consciously elevated. So with this world card, some of you may be traveling in the future, going on a trip, a vacation, but um, I see you traveling to higher heights. Um, I see you putting it into things that no longer serve you. Um, I see a, the will turning in your favor because you put it into things that no longer served you. So now you have room for new things to come in. You fear that you're you're going to be left in the dark about a situation regarding a family, or you're uncertain about a situation regarding the stability of a family. You're hoping that you can come back together. You love this person, they, they love you. But you feel left in the dark, you feel uncertain. You're very emotional about this situation that left you or someone wounded. Your outcome is the Queen of Cups. Emotions. Emotional. You throw your hands up. I feel like you've thrown your hands up and you're waiting for someone to come in. So let's see. Clear, what other messages do we have? The sign of Virgo. What other messages do we have for the sign of Virgo? Yeah, see, someone wants a reconciliation. Could be... A parent and a child. Someone wants to reconcile with their six, six of cups. Someone wants to reconcile because the foundation and the stability of this union is not, it's, it's just not stable. And someone wants to overcome these obstacles. That's what's on your mind right now. Are we going to overcome these obstacles? Come back together, give each other hugs and kisses and celebrate. And I feel like with this higher fan Taurus energy, you or this person, someone is waiting for some type of clarity and enlightenment because there was a heartbreak here. And someone may have moved or ran away quickly, left the scene quickly. Someone left the scene quickly. And with this fool card, this person set out on a new journey, not knowing how that things were going to turn out, where they were going to end up. And it required them to have strength and courage, Leo's energy. It required them to have strength and courage to move forward. I feel like with the Magician card, Virgo, you were not able to manifest. Let's see, why is the Magician card in a reverse? Yeah, you weren't able to manifest something about a decision pertaining to someone walking away. You weren't able to make a final decision if you should walk away or if they should walk away. Someone wasn't able to make a decision pertaining to walking away from something. And now, no. Wait a minute.
So I'm going to set out on a new journey. Virgo, the magician card in the reverse. That's your energy. Because someone made a decision to walk away from this. I feel like you were trying to manifest this person to stay or something like that. But with this judgment card, Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy, I'm seeing someone had, someone did some shadow work, went and it, someone went with it to work on themselves. And I see this person is going to be coming back around for a second chance. They may be trying to send you a message with the page of pentacles. Something immature could be coming in with a gift. But um, this person is coming back in. They're going to start off by sending messages with the six of wands. They could be trying to get your attention at this time. Because things are stuck with the hangman energy. Um, Pisces energy is here. This person may be losing their mind at this time, trying to figure out how to come back in. Because I feel like they see your worth now, or you see their worth. If they're Queen of Pentacles. What is the outcome? Yeah, the Emperor Aries energy. So someone's going to take control of this situation. Take control of this situation. Yeah, I'm seeing this Ten of Cups. Something is going to come to a, a... I feel like this stagnation is going to come to an end and you're going to reconcile. This may have something to do with children as well. Yeah, with Seven of Pentacles, the seeds that you planted. And I feel like it's going to grow with... this. Things are going to start to move forward and grow within a family after a conversation takes place. An honest conversation is needed. Someone has gained some clarity and some wisdom at right at this time. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Could be a marriage here. Someone wasn't seeing eye to eye within a family. And it caused someone to leave. But the nine of cups. That what Someone didn't get their wish when their person when someone walked away, that was not a wish fulfillment. It left someone feeling alone, disappointed, stabbed in the back, betrayed. But now there's a new passionate beginning coming in because someone has woke up and gained the clarity that they needed to move forward. One more. Yeah. Virgo, this is your energy. You gained the clarity and enlightenment. You held on to this union. You held this person close to your heart. Mm hmm You held it. You are the one that held this person close to their heart. You held on to this. Yep. Because, because someone was feeling anxious. There was some anxiety going on behind this. Some sleepless nights, some crying. And I feel like you may have sent this person a message letting them know that you love them. With this Five of Pentacles, you regret what you what happened. You were disappointed. You regret something. I'm going to leave it at that. I can go one and one and one. Virgos, this is your reading for the week of June 22nd through the 30th. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. Um, check out the community section of this channel for updates and for dates for live um, readings. I will see you next time. Bye.